Hey, welcome to another video. In the previous video, we saw the Google Ads uh, campaign result for the very first day. It's actually growing as the week wears on and I'm pretty happy with the results so far. I'll show you the complete results when the campaign ends. In this video, we are going to talk about how Facebook ads work. Now, first thing first, you need to understand that if you want to advertise on Facebook, you cannot do it by using your Facebook profile. Now, this may sound a little, uh, you know, uh, a setback to those who are not familiar with Facebook protocols, but let me make it easy for you. In order to advertise on Facebook, you need to have a Facebook page. And creating a Facebook page is as simple as creating a Facebook profile. You can connect your Facebook page with your profile. And if you want any of your team member to be given permissions to advertise on your Facebook page on your behalf, you can assign them a role. This is pretty self-explanatory. And uh, all you need to do is go to your page, navigate all the way to the settings, click on page role and select a profile. You can do it two ways. A, you can uh, search for that profile or you can paste their profile link right in this area. And this way, Facebook will pull up their profile ID and you can assign them any role. You can assign them a role of an editor, you can assign them a role of an admin, but rest assured, if you assign them a role of admin, this means that they will have complete control over your Facebook page. So make sure you designate this responsibility to someone who's trustworthy. So Facebook ads work in two ways. A, you can simply pick a post on your page by clicking on the boost button, there you go. All you need to do is just supply the purpose of your advertisement, select the audience based on their interest, on their location, on their gender, and populate your credit card. So that's the easiest way to promote or advertise your Facebook post. But there's a catch here. This is for individuals only. If you are an agency or if you are someone who is offering Facebook marketing to multiple clients, you will have to create a Facebook manager account. In the next video, I'm going to teach you how to create Facebook business account. Facebook business account is where you can track the assets, you can assign multiple roles, you can lend your business manager account to someone so that you know, they can add you on their manager account and assign you different responsibilities. At the same time, if you are managing multiple clients, you can include all the different pages of those different clients inside your Facebook business manager. You can also have different ad accounts inside your Facebook business manager. More on that later, but the purpose of creating this video was to educate you. If you are an individual, you do not have to worry about Facebook business account. All you need to do is just click on a boost button and then uh, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory in three or four simple steps. But if you're an agency offering your services, then you need to have Facebook business manager. In the next video, I'm going to show you by sharing my screen how the whole process lays out. See you in the next video.